Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Visitor Studio and today a quick video to share with you that free sample from our social media mega pack. This is an Instagram post effect that you can drag on photos and video. This effect is free and you can download it with the link in the description below. With that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, so you can download the effect by clicking the link in the description below. It will give you this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. In the folder, you'll find a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file to install, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the effect will not work uh, because DaVinci will not know what font to use uh, to reproduce that effect. To install them, just select all of them and double click on them and that will just install them automatically or you can just drag and drop them into your font folder. Once that's done, you can go to the DRFX file and double click on that DRFX file to start the installation process. Select install and then you can go over to DaVinci Resolve. Once on the edit page of DaVinci Resolve, you can go to Effect and it will not be located in a title. This time it will be located in Effects and it needs to be dragged directly onto a photo or a video clip. So we're gonna go over here and just select Effect, Video to Studio, and I'm gonna extend this slightly so we can see what we're doing. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to Sample and then here we'll have the Instagram post. We can then just take it and drag it directly onto our picture or our video clip. In that case, I've just uh, bring up a picture, but it will work exactly the same way for a video clip. So now I can just take that and drag it on our video clip right here, and we will get it to work exactly the same way. Now, there's a lot of fine tuning that you can do to really make it look how you want. So first off here, we have control over the animation. You have control over the animation in, and out as well as the style and timing of that animation. So here, for example, we have a simple zoom in animation, but if we were to, let's say, displace or post to the side of the frame. But now because it's placed on the left, we might not want to have it zoom in, but instead we want to have it slide in here from the left side. So going from the left to the right. So here in animation in, we can select pan right. And now if we play it, as you can see, the animation will come from the left side of the frame to the right side of the frame. Now we can select exactly the same thing here for the animation out. So right now it's fade out, but we can select it to be the opposite. So right here we will do pan left and now basically it will go on the left side of the frame. So you can play around with those animation in and out to really get the movement that is right for your project. You can choose from zoom in, zoom out, pan left, pan right, slide up, slide down, and fade in. Then you also have control over the timing of the animation. So right now it's taking about one second for the animation to be complete. But if you want to have it faster or slower, you can adjust that with the animation length in second. Right now, if we want to have it taking longer, for example, we can do two second instead of one second. And now, if we're playing it, it's going to take twice as long for the post to come in frame. Also, you can choose the style of the curve. Right now, we have the curve set as back, so there is some sort of like bouncing going on, where it's just like overshoot the animation and come back. But if you want to have something that is more linear, we could choose scene. Uh, it will be more linear, but just still having like a, a bit of smoothness to it. So you can play around with the different mold curve to really get the right style for you. For example, here, elastic will give like even more of a bounce. Same here, if we choose a bounce, if we play it, it give you uh, like a bounce effect. So you can just play around with those and select the one that will fit uh, the aesthetic of your project better. Personally, I often use non scene or expo. That's the one that I tend to use the most. I really like Expo because it looks the smoothest in my opinion. Now that's it for the animation. Now let's move on to the control that you have right here. Uh, there is a typo here for description. I will fix that before uploading it. Um, but if you, again, notice any mistake, feel free to let us know and we'll try to fix it. So first off, you have the size and position. So that's how you can adjust the overall uh, position and size of the entire post. So here we can reduce it, uh, put it to the side. Um, so something really basic. Uh, by the way, you obviously have transparency. So here, if I were to just bring that to the track above, and then here, I'm just gonna bring like a clip right below it. Uh, as you can see, we have transparency happening. 
Now let's say the framing isn't right and you want to adjust some stuff. So here you can go over to media control um, and there you can adjust the corner radius. So that will give you uh, basically control over the corner radius of that image. Uh, we can adjust the overall position of the image inside of that mask and we can also adjust the overall size of that image within the mask so here we can reduce it or we can expand it if you want to reset any value you can just double click on that value and it will be reset to the default one and also here we have control over the size of the background so here we can expand or reduce that background size then down there, we have more control over that rectangle background. So here we have the level. If we want to basically reduce the opacity of that background that's possible right here, then we also have the soft edge. So we can basically make it more of a shadow. We also have control over the border width, which essentially gives you like a, a size uh, control overall. Uh, which is pretty similar to here the background size and then we can choose to have an outline here if we untick that as you can see we'll have an outline and you can then just uh, make some adjustments here to the size and then adjust the border width and um, just have this being an outline of the post we have the overall size and position and then you can still independently choose the height and width of that background as well as the corner radius so if you want the corner radius to be straight you can just bring that to zero and then you will have straight corner you can also change the color of that background so here if you want it to be i don't know blue for example you could do that uh, I just don't know why you would go for that kind of blue, but like something maybe a bit darker um, or like a darker red or whatever color uh, you might want to use, you can do that. Right now, we're going to reset it to black, but also you can choose from gradient if you wish. So here uh, you could choose for any color in the gradient. Uh, let's say we're going for something that is uh, red and uh, pink or purple. You could do that right here and you will have um, a gradient right now I'm gonna reset it to just black here we go and we're gonna continue to the profile picture so here by default as you've seen we've put uh, the video the studio logo but you can basically upload any file that you want right here uh, you can also adjust the position and size of that logo and finally uh, you can make the modification to alt text on frame so here we have name you can switch that, for example, here, uh, Da Vinci Resolve. You can change the phone size, color tracking, and so on and so forth. Um, and you have also the description right here where you can make the same exact adjustments. And that's pretty much it. I hope this effect will be useful to you. If you need those kind of assets for social media, we've just created a big pack that contains a bunch of social media assets that you can check out on our website. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.